So this ankle lock is really powerful when you knock someone over for De La Hiva. A lot of people use the Barambolo from De La Hiva guard to attack the back and it's a super powerful system. But some people don't like to do that because they don't feel like they're flexible enough or it's just not their style. So I'm gonna give you a great way that you can either sweep or submit your opponent with this instead of doing the Barambolo. So we're gonna start off with doing the knock over from a De La Hiva hook. So realistically, we could use this with two sleeve grips in a De La Hiva hook. We could use it with collar, sleeve in a De La Hiva hook or an ankle in a De La Hiva hook or a sleeve in a daily hook, we just need to get this hook. You're gonna get this hook all the time if you're attacking the upper body because people often defend by keeping their elbow and knee tight to prevent arm bars, omoplatus triangles, which is gonna make getting this hook in really easy. Once we get this hook in, we're gonna switch to an ankle grip. So if I had collar or sleeve, I would switch to an ankle grip. If I had double sleeve, I'm gonna switch to an ankle grip. I just wanna have at least an ankle grip. From here, I'm gonna use my foot in the ribs or on his hip, and I kick my left foot backwards while staying on the side of my hip here to start knocking him backwards. If I feel like I can't knock him backwards, I can usually pull his weight forward a little bit and when he steps back, I'll have momentum to start knocking him backwards. I've done videos very in depth on De La Hiva Guard. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out if you wanna go more in depth. But this knockover is super powerful. It's one of the most useful attacks in Jiu-Jitsu, so it's important to understand. So from here, this is often where people will go for Baron Bolos and that's a great threat. I can go here, I can grab the hip, come through, start pulling him up and taking the back. But if you don't want to do that, you don't feel like you're flexible enough, I think you can do it even without flexibility. But either way, you don't want a Barambolo, you should still be using this knockover because it's so powerful. So I'm going to give you a separate attack you can do from here. What's going to happen is we get the knockover however we do it. He's going to post the hand. And what I want to do is as soon as he posts the hand, I'm going to kick his chest or his shoulder with my foot and that keeps his weight back. Now it's hard to take his weight off of this hand, right? So once I've done that, now I can let go of the collar and instead of going for the bolo, I'm going to grab this cross pant grip here and I let let go and pull this leg out. From here, I have this foot. There's a lot of different things I can do from here. From here, I could kick the leg out and it could slowly come up and try to bring him up into just an easy sweep. Of course, he's probably not gonna want you to do that. From here, if you like to do crab ride stuff, you could switch in here and start transitioning into crab rides or X hooks. But one thing I really like to do here, see I keep him back here, is the angle of his foot's here. It's really easy and while he's worried about me coming up for the sweep, I'm really gonna, really fast, gonna switch this over for an ankle lock. And because he's at this angle, it's hard for him to defend by turning his foot in. One of the the main defenses to an ankle lock is to turn your toes inward so I can't get a good angle on the foot. When it's here, it's very hard to defend. So here he's worried about this. He's not even grabbing my lapel because he's not thinking about it. And I just dip over this really fast and put the foot in my armpit and then cut in. Now I have his foot locked on my chest. I feed whatever lapel grip I can get quick. And I want to do this fast because if I wait here, he might grab the lapel. But if he's not expecting it, as soon as I go here, I go here and I throw this foot over onto the rib cage. Now I can switch over and get a really strong belly down finish on this. 